Oh, hey, everyone. Just gonna play some Mario 64. Sometimes, you know, you just get a craving... ...a desire to play Mario 64. I don't know. certainly do change in your memory over time. Welcome to Mario Wonderland. If you're the adventurous sort, pay a visit to the castle ahead. Okay. It's me. It's a me, Mario. And, uh... I'm here to pay a visit because uh, Peach invited me for a cake. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think Mario just confirmed that that is in fact the truth. Welp. This is a ball battlefield. <laughs> if you want to feel the wind at your back, try jumping in the hole on the left. The sensation can't be beat. Hmm. Well, first, I want to rescue the baby penguin. Ah, whatever. So, Babam Battlefield is very different this time of year. Can Whoa! Good tricks, Mario. Oops. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why is the castle different now? Uh... No! Oh good, I'm back. So, how long can I keep up this charade? Listen. As you can tell, this isn't the same old Mario 64. Well, actually, the castle here has returned to normal, kind of. Not really. Toad? What about Toad? Can you hear the distant screams? I do. No, that that's about normal for Mario 64. I know Toad can hear things that most others cannot. Wow, you're smack in the middle of a battlefield. Where did the river go? You'll find the stars that the Koopa King stole inside the paintings. Talk to the ally. He'll certainly help you out. Well, I've been furnished with all the informations I could ever desire. Thank you, game. So this is called... What's, what is this called? This is called B3313. And from what I understand of it... The quiet war has begun. The silent weapons, they will attack until there's nothing left. Nothing matters. Okay. Uh, from, from what I understand of this... It recreates... 
I guess some creepy pastas, maybe some beta content, lore, liminal, Mario 64, all kinds of crap. Wow. Well, that was easy. <laughs> what happened to the castle now? You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. What happens when I try to leave? Oh. Is this like an actual painting I can go in? Kind of. Yeah, yeah. This is the perfect kind of thing to just create lore. Where, like, you got your, um, copy of Mario 64 in the mail from, like, some sketchy service. And, um, you tried contacting them, but they had closed down. Your copy was personalized. Mario has died. <laughs> you name it, there's endless possibilities for lore. Remember the haunted Majora's Mask cartridge? What was it? Uh, ben Drowned was the meme. This feels like that. Well, that's very kind of the game to just put a star out in the open like that. Oh man, but I'm still in Bowser's bony castle. The fucking yeah kills me. Yeah, you can just see through Mario's head, that's fine. Nice of the princess to invite us over for dinner. Aye, hey, uh, Wait, is this Thwomp's fortress of some kind? Uh, why did I just pick up a star? A little mini star? I wonder how much of this is actual beta content. Koopa, K-U-P-P-A. Huh. That's still there, but it's also not there. This Koopa is very afraid. Oh, as it should have been. Nice face. I'm sorry, why does this cannon exist? Whoa, 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 I'm flying. Oh, go oh God. So instead of red coins, there's just mini stars. Oh, oh boy, uh, the ground pound functions differently. These are the easiest Super Mario 64 stars I've ever gotten in my life. You've recovered three of the stolen power stars. It, more texts was on the horizon, but then it just went away. So 
so yeah, I'm not familiar. I mean, this looks like maybe something from like a magazine of Mario 64 before it came out, but I, I don't know. I'm sure there's some of that. I'm sure there's plenty of creepy pastas and all kinds of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Surreal. Uh, I don't know. Myths? Yes, myths. Mario 64 myths. I know the sound effects are like, um, some of them are maybe Chuck Jones from back in the Looney Tunes days before they found or got Charles to do the voice. So that's good stuff. And fish that actually move out of the way while you're swimming. If they wanted to do a good music troll, they just would have never changed the riff. It would have just been that first chord progression several thousand times, <laughs> and then it changes if you're in the level for 20 minutes. Well, that's not fair. There's two stars. And that one's got a switch. I should probably do that. Huh? Wait, what? You've recovered eight of the stolen power stars. Eight? What? When when did I recover eight of the what what is this painting? This castle is exclusive to the show. It's connected to a variety of worlds. So open the doors ahead and get adventuring. The show? Like the the super show? What? Welcome to the Pleasant Pleasant Falls, our place to relax after many battles. This mountain hides many secrets. It's not that pleasant. It's fucking lack of two. Do the the sound effects. I have to do my own sound effects. <laughs> that boing is very integral to Mario 64. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. So Mario's hat is just fucking gone. Mm. Okay. So be it. Okay, it was in there. Maybe those little stars I collected were actually full stars. Lethal Lava Land? Kind of, yeah. Left or right, it's up to you. Make good use of the C button to move quickly but cautiously. Oh, 
I, I don't fully understand the intent of this version of Mario 64. Except it was found in a dumpster outside of a KB Toys parking lot in 1999. And someone held on to it, and they left it in their basement, which was haunted, and got flooded for 20 years. Until 2019, someone by the name of... Joheim got the cartridge and spent the next two years cleaning it up with tweezers, rubbing alcohol, toothpicks, and cotton swabs. Finally, after all the work, this is what ended up war like being playable. Some of this corrupted by the flooding, the haunting, the cleaning process, some of it intended. All of it unsettling. This reminds me of Wet Dry World a little bit in some weird ways. I always liked the, the background, the skybox of Wet Dry World. There was a lot of lore in my mind that I tried to invent. And in other cases, wondered why was the place so empty? It looks like a door from Ocarina of Time, maybe. Also, I can't help but feel like Mario kind of looks giant. Through some of this. Hey, speaking of wet dry world. Oh boy. Okay. 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 And now we have water. Loving that Mario 64 camera. It still amazes me how much they got right, right out the gate. I was watching a video on, like, PS1 games from 1995, and there's, um... Was it Jazz Jackrabbit? Which was, like, a first-person platformer slash shooter, but mostly a platformer. And while it looked good for a PS game in 1995, and has a bit of a cult following... Seeing... Like, what that was as an attempt at platforming at that time... compared to where it would end up going later. And not even that much later. It's pretty crazy. Mario 64 did... like... a lot of things that would be copied. Some successfully, others not, for years. And to me, Mario 64 still stands almost in its own category... of, um... I don't know, I guess game changers in my life, in my personal experience. Like, games that came out that changed what I thought about video games and what I expected from video games. Using the, the control stick for the very first time, for example, at a Toys R Us, while Mario 64 was, like, on a kiosk, because I couldn't wait to get home and play it. That shit was cool. Hmm. Not really sure what I'm doing in here. I see blocks.
just wanted to lower the water level. The music is, is leading to this weird sense of dread. It's interesting. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Nothing good. That's for sure. The mystery of... The mystery is of wet or dry, and where does the solution lie? The city welcomes visitors with the depth they bring as they enter. I have three centimeters of depth right now. There are secrets in these doors. Some say that you shouldn't be jumping and making noise near them. Maybe I have to jump in order? This would have been infuriating if this was actually in the game. But we must go on the journey together, because this game was found... ...in the trash... ...at a Sizzler... ...in 1998. It's a cold November. And the Sizzler worker found it. Brought it to a science lab. Where they hooked up... ...electrodes to try to resuscitate the game. And it was only with the use... ...of an alkali-covered Q-tip... ...that anything was actually able, able to be recovered. It was a miracle. This game should have never worked again, but it did. Looks like all the doors are fair game, which is a problem because there's a lot of them. Oh wow, I just found a couple by accident. That's nice. Still kind of sucks though. Wow. That's a star. Okay, I think we're we're good on that world. Don't need to be there again anytime soon. Listen. I'm more than content to continue exploring, <laughs> but not that one. Now I have to remember which one that was. This one's different. New adventures and new worlds. Will you play the game or will the game play you? I've been trying to figure that out my whole life.
The music is so crusty, I love it. Speaking of Mario 64, there's a new video on Kaze's channel. Kaze Kaze. I'm just going to continue saying Kaze. Kaze Emanuar. Of a Mario 64 um, ROM hack that looks incredible. Like, he actually modified the engine, and the visuals are really, really good. It doesn't... It doesn't look like it should be totally possible on the N64, but it's playable on real hardware. And it's got a really great style to it, which that's the other thing he mentions, is like, as he's improved as an artist, his um, ability to create amazing looking things in for N64 obviously has increased exponentially, but this is like really good shit. This looks like something Rare and Nintendo could have collaborated on. So, it's just, whatever, I, I mean, I know you'll be watching this, some people, in like, a year or two from now. Also, let me know how 2024 is. Hopefully better than 2020 and 2021. Hopefully I have my hearing in my right ear back. Uh, by then. But, anyway, um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know the name of it precisely, but it, it's the most recent video he has posted. as of this day here. Okay, I need the invisible cap for this one. Which I do not have. Ah, oh, fuck. So, my goal playing this is not to 100% it, obviously. But I want to see as many worlds as possible. The person who sent this to me said that they completed maybe, I think, 60? And they said it was very enjoyable. Mario looks so done with this shit. I mean, even the fucking castle itself is, is confusing and liminally strange. Uh, as these things are so often to be. The word liminal has really entered my vocabulary in a big way this past year. I never knew how much I would enjoy Minor... Minor Key Peach's Castle. Okay, we're, we really... I don't know where the fuck we are now, but... The piano! Funhouse. <laughs> the Stooges album? Wait, what, what's fun about this? I haven't found the fun yet. You know, it was fun, though. When those marines recovered this from Saddam Hussein's hard drive. And it took five long years to recover any of the data to make this playable. Some said it was a myth, but we knew the truth. From the beginning, we knew the truth. 
that it would get... It would get weird, and it would work. Okay. Okay, this is now a fun house. Please, walk quietly in the hallway. Wait, you serious? I guess that toad was serious. Oh wait, the toad turned off my sound effects. Okay... That... made sense. We have a new castle entrance. I think. It... uh... Kinda looks new. God. It was worth the shot. One. One. The fuck is this hallway? Um, is that- what is that even? What's- what is that? <laughs> what is that? That's just nothing. There are almost like too many things to see and explore. Warning, you have entered the cold, cold crevice. Watch your steps, Chief. I take- uh, you know what? I take that back. There isn't almost too much to explore. There is too much to explore. Like, definitely. And I just got thrown out of that painting, and I probably will never see it again. Stone world? No, never mind. Good. Where does that carpet lead? I thought Halloween was over. Sweet Jesus. Anything up here? No, of course not. Why would there be? No, can't go in there. <laughs> I just want to know who made this. This castle does not belong in any reality. It just doesn't. There, there's no spatial reasoning. I mean, it was found on Einstein's Enyak, so... Oh, 
Oh, dear Lord. More things that I don't want to run across a hall to get to. Oh, fuck. Every now and then, though, some of the castle becomes somewhat familiar. That... that was endurable. Well, this is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. This is familiar. Okay, we know what this world is. We've been here before. No, it's not. It is not that world at all. It, this is a different version. It's a nighttime version, but also the geometry of it is, like, off. There's an invisible wall. Okay. Okay, there's bullies up there. Oh, okay. I can get up there. It would be kind of amazing if there was just one star per every world. And just 120 worlds. <laughs> This castle is exclusive to the show. It's connected to a variety of worlds, so open the doors ahead and get adventure. What? Again? That doesn't make any sense. And also, what show? been dunt. I hope that doesn't demonetize the video. <laughs> okay, well, I've made it back here. It's not helping, necessarily. This is just gonna lead to more weirdness, but... Was that painting there before? Oh yeah, it's this spot again. All right. Hey, no wing cap needed to fly. Okay. Okay. I feel nothing. <laughs> like, I feel nothing when I get the stars. TikTok clock, maybe? No. No. But... Oh. Okay. Yoshi's Island music.
<laughs> Fuck. Oh god, oh god, right, 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 okay. Um, when you, like, die... Oh, you can just go in there? That's nice. Is that a fucking chandelier? I don't know why I was so surprised to see a chandelier in Mario 64, but I am. Orbs. I know, that just seemed like the appropriate thing to do. Oh! Was not confirmed. So another influence uh, for this game, for this mod, is, uh, from what I understand, LSD Dream Emulator and uh, Yume Nikki. So... It seems so obvious now. Exclusive to the show again. Many exclusive to the show levels. I wonder how many of the stars that are normally here are still here. Good, we'll just go through. Camera just go through the wall, that's fine. So many stars. There's stars all over the place in this one. This is the negative emotional aura room. Feels like <laughs> Mario Maker in 3D. Oh man. I mean, there's gotta be something here, right? How can there be nothing when there must be something? Maybe there just is nothing. But why is there anything? Like in life. Why is there anything? Why did anything happen? Why, why is there just nothing? Infinite.
Enough things have happened in the perfect sequential order so that this could exist. Maybe this was the purpose of the universe. Maybe whatever birthed this universe, this galaxy, this solar system, this planet, was meant to give us... Yeah, never mind. Bad bit. Anyway, this game was found in a lockbox at a train station in a Spain station in space. And it took a team of cheerleaders 12 years to reverse engineer the cartridge. They didn't even have a Nintendo 64 invented yet when they found it. And then they invented Nintendo 64 and gave it to Nintendo and said, hey, we need you to, like, do a complete... Um, you need to deny that we gave you this. You need to make a complete gaming system so that we can play this game. But also, you can't make it known that you've done this. You have to make your other games. You have to be a successful business worldwide. And that way we can play this one thing that we found in the train station in the Spain station that was found in Einstein's Enyaq and Saddam Hussein's lockbox. Or whatever. I can't follow the lore. But you can see that my brain is kind of broken. And I don't know what to do. I'm lost. Kind of seems like there's a whole lot of nothing here. Okay, never mind that room. No key, no problem. Kind of hard to know where you've been already, though it does seem like I've been here already. This castle is so big and so confusing, I only have vague recollections at this point. Okay, so now I'm back at Peach's actual castle. What happens when I leave? <sighs> For fuck's sake. I should have known. Nope, we're not going that way. Peach's negative castle. Oh, this is fucked up. <laughs> Things, new, new, new things. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it never ends. There's just stars out in the open here.
I don't know what this music is from. I'm sure it's from something. Oh. Physics are a little different. Oh man. The Death Castle. But you almost never run out of areas to see. That's for sure. I'll tell you what, if anyone plays this and finds something exceedingly amazing, drop a comment and next time I play it, I'll try to get there. If you could just kind of give me a general idea of where it is. Because otherwise I'm just running around aimlessly, which is fun on its own, but if I do this again, I'm going to need some objective, some goal, because I'm not planning on getting everything. And a lot of these levels are designed so poorly <laughs> on purpose that I don't I don't actually see myself completing them just because it's it's so painful. <laughs> different. Oh god. Wait, no, 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 no. Wrong way. Just another way into the castle, right? Just normal, normal area. Oh, okay. Well, that actually does look a little bit like how it's supposed to look. Right. Oh God, no, 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 not, not here. Anywhere but here. And <clears throat> there is some bizarre logic to all this. Tiny, huge. Okay, never mind. More like real and fake. It's always three Goombas. Like, seriously, what are they doing? They're always three, they're always huddled. As an Italian, I grew up knowing what the word Goomba meant outside of Mario Goombas. It's like a couple of Goombas down the block. How you doing? Everyone says, how you doing in New York, by the way. It's either, hey, I'm walking here, fuck you, or how you doing? So it's like a one out of three chance that you're going to get some kindness. Okay, so this mountain just keeps going. And going. And going. Great. 
can change the FOV. And the aspect ratio? The fuck? Oh! And you can fast travel out? What the hell? I mean, I suppose it makes sense. What was that? Yeah. All right. This is unexpected. That fucking sound effect. That's like in Italian Spider-Man. There's a... Uh, you don't know about Italian Spider-Man, you're missing out, but... There's like a panther noise that keeps playing. Ah, oh, Christ. No. Oh, you need more FOV? Finally, Mario 64 has the FOV mod we, we were all clamoring for. You'll pay for this later. Oh no, Mario! I found the Nintendo 64 cartridge! Where'd you find it, Luigi? It was in the spaghetti machine! I put it through a couple times, it's shredded, but I think if we work together... We could reverse engineer it! We can fix it! Mario, please! God, more mountains, more levels, more... Uh, just the most basic-ass levels. Oh, God. There's a Goomba underneath the level. <laughs> That's the loneliest Goomba. You know in the Mario Brothers Super Show? I'm assuming everyone here has watched that show. It's required viewing. But... Uh, in the show, there's like... A stove that, like, talks or something? And there's all kinds of weird... Things in their... Set. What is it? It's like a basement? It's their place of work? I don't know what the fuck that place is, but... Whatever it is, there's all kinds of weird shit, and some of it talks to them, and... Some of it just, like... Sucks the life out of them. Oh. I'm sure they found this cartridge in one of those things. Alright, well, I'm gonna save and quit here. I think... I wouldn't mind coming back to this. Like I said, if anyone discovers any interesting things, I don't know, uh, let me know in the comments, but... Once again, the name of this is B3313. So, good luck. It was... definitely a thing. And... I feel smarter... and dumber at the same time for having played it. But it was worth exploring. I wonder how many levels there actually are. Hundred? More? Look at all these new emotions. Alright, everybody. Thank you for now. Gonna stop. Uh, maybe more of this at a future date. It was worth exploring and delving into the lore. I wonder where it was really found, though. Hmm.